Hi guys, and welcome to the new series, A Link to the Past, where I'm joined by Russell. What's up? Who did, yeah, it's Russell. It's me. Uh, Here I am. <laughs> it's not so, It's not explanatory at all, but you know, this game, the Achievements is all about playing with my friends, so Russell's here for A Link to the Past. I'm, and... I'm finally here as in at Taylor's place because he finally decided to clean his apartment. Yeah, my apartment's livable, which means Link the Pass, recording on the Wii U, 720p, woo, which might not look as good compared, well, no, I think my, my Portal 2 videos are only 720p as well. I'm pretty sure they are. I have no idea what I capture and I just do it. <laughs> yeah. I just click HD and it's good. <laughs> I'm not reading this. I should be reading this. But I'm not gonna read this. You guys can read. Yeah, I mean, it's. If you manage to type in late. the URL, then chances are you can both read and write. It's too. So. It's too late. I should. If I wanted to read it, I should have been reading it from the beginning. That's okay. This is too late. Uh, well, they, most people already know the story of this. If you're gonna watch a link to the past let's play, you probably played the game. Unless you're me, who watched a let's play, and hasn't played the game before. I, but that's okay. I can't believe you watched a Let's Play when I told you you were going to be my co-commentator for this game. Yes, but then that was like a while ago, and I was like, well, I want to keep watching this Let's Play, so you should, you know, start doing this. And then we didn't start doing it in time, and I was like, fuck it. You suck. Anyway, it's not going to be much different than anybody else who has already played this game watching this, so... Probably not. I, as you guys know, I tried, I was going to do this game blind... Uh, but then when things didn't work out with our first recording session, I was like, but I still want to play. So I went to my girlfriend's where my Super Nintendo is and played the entire game in one sitting. So, confession, I can see the readout of you scratching your scruff. That was huge. Really? Yeah, do it again. Oh, maybe that was just me talking. It had to have been you talking. It probably was no just way. me talking. Like I'm so I'm so far back from the mic. There's no way. Like even it, if I it's a solid microphone, man. Like do not do not underestimate my microphone. We could probably like bring it closer and set it right here, and things would be better. But it's okay. This. It's picking us up enough. Yeah, I feel like we're talking really loudly though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, I feel like I'm talking loudly. This is not usually the volume at which I. Fuck, I left my water over there. <laughs> okay, I'll get your water. Alright, we're going to erase, erase, erase this one. Oh. Uh, and we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to start. And as you guys know, I'm, well, I mean, most of you probably don't know, but I'm a gigantic Legend of Zelda fan. Like, huge. So... Our main character's just, it's gotta be, gotta be. Gotta be Link. It's L-I-N-K. That, that, that OG shit. Mm-hmm. Help me. Please help me. Please, please. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. Please don't do this. My name is Zelda. Please don't do this. The wizard of... Okay, <laughs> awesome. Has Thank done God. something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. I, got I can't say that. Has he Whatever. Read. You guys can read. Basic reading skills. Seven wise men seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Okay. I, I really will stop. Link. I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. I don't know what that was. I was going for Christopher Walken, but I can't do a Christopher Walken impression and it turned into that. Whee! Pots. Link needs his pots. Ooh, you got the lamp. Cool. Wow, I never really noticed how, like, intense the delay is on the screen from, like, how it's capturing. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's a pretty decent delay. Probably a good two or three seconds, but the audio syncs up afterwards. Though, oh so yeah, it does, good. it does everything itself which can be good but it can also be bad because then you end up with situations like the first time i did this and the game audio was crazy loud and the commentary was really quiet oh link i didn't want you involved in this i told you not to leave the house 
take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power of the blade, hold the B button. Then we'll release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Link, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... My Zelda what? is your ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. My what? Is she my cousin? I want to stick my wiener in that. No. Some Ego Raptor references there for you. <laughs> but now we have a sword. 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 Uh, so, I just got into Hearthstone. Uh, which is the the World of Warcraft card game. That's what it is. Yeah, everyone keeps talking about it, but um, I have no idea what the fuck it was. I was watching... Uh, one of my favorite Twitch streamers play it, and I was like, this this actually looks fun. That's good. Uh, and I needed something to do, and so I downloaded it. And it's free to play. It's free to download. And, like, you know how with, like, free-to-play models, it's usually pay to win? Mm -hmm. But it's actually not. It, you can actually do it all for free. And not be at, like, a huge disadvantage. That's but, cool. like, if I had some money, I wouldn't even feel bad paying for card packs because like the game's actually fun to play and doesn't feel like I have to do that. It's just because I want to. Yeah. No, that's cool. I, I like stuff like that. I mean like it's much better that you can actually do well without having to pay money for a free game. You know? Yeah. Like it's like on it's it's like on Twitch when when people do um like I, I don't, I don't think you've ever streamed on Twitch before. Maybe. I haven't, but, but I, I, wa I, I follow a lot of people on Twitch. I watch a lot. Of Twitch. I know that um, the way it works is that, like, if you're doing a giveaway on Twitch, for example, Twitch has something built in for a streamer to like pick someone out of their chat automatically. Yep. Um, and what they can do is that they can set like the random like username generator who's in the chat to favor subscribers. So, like, it's called subscriber luck, so if you put, like, by default it's at one, which means they have the same amount of chance as anyone else, but yeah. if you put it to, like, two, for example, then subscribers have two times more of a shot at getting picked for giveaways well, and shit. Well, like, so. if, are you familiar with Kind of Funny game, f Kind of Funny? Uh, probably not. Uh, so, like, some people from IGN, Greg Miller, Colin Moriarty, Nick Scarpino, and Tim Geddes, left IGN, yeah, and this is like what they're doing now, it's kind of funny, it's basically just a more chill version of IGN, they don't, they, they're more about like, their opinions about games as opposed to giving like, a review score or anything like that, Okay. Cool. Um, and it's just more, more free form, but anyway, they do a talk show every day on Twitch, Okay. and every week they do a giveaway, so like each day they add new things to the giveaway pile, and like, it's, um, it's for, if you're a subscriber, you're automatically entered, and if you're not a subscriber, then if you're in the chat, then you have a chance to win, but obviously, if you're a sub, then you can't watch the Friday stream, you can still win. Yeah. Which is cool. Plus, I wouldn't even feel bad paying $4.99 a month to subscribe to them, because there's a chance I could win, like... Like, this week, they're only giving away one thing, but it's a $700 Venom mask from, um, like, a real movie effects company. Really? That's yeah. kind of cool. It's cool. It's really cool. But yeah, well, my, my point was that with that was that, like, it's nice that you don't have to pay in order to still feel like you can win at something, yeah. or you can do well at something, or that you feel included in something, you know? For something that's supposed to be free. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of the opposite of like the uh, Facebook strategy, which is the uh, you are you are the product just because it's free, you know that kind of thing. Uh, oh no! Oh, I missed. Uh, okay, hearts. Hearts. It. Oh, there we go. There we Big go. key. All oh, right. look, look at my boomerang. <laughs> it's it was still spinning. Me. Thank you, Link. I had a feeling you were getting close. Please stop. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm used to playing by myself, where like you have to do that because it, it keeps it interesting. But but with other people in the room, it's no. Good, it's, it's, and all these viewers on YouTube, hey, they do not. They do not. Want I've to gone up to 38 subscribers. Hey, that a boy. All right. Thanks to collaborating with Nick Ski Bike who, uh, I, I have classes with him, and, like, we became friends last semester and all that stuff, and... Cool. Uh, 
So we were talking and like he decided to collaborate with me on Super Metroid. And I, which will probably be uploading concurrently to this because Portal 2 will be done soon at some point. And from the comments, they've been saying Super Metroid's going to take us a while. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch that. I know that Super Metroid is a pretty uh, is a pretty intense game. It takes uh, it does take a yeah. fair amount of time. But so. at, at this moment, like episode one has like 114 views. Nice. All right. And episode two has 14 views, which may not seem like a big deal, but like it's more views than you were getting. Before. Yeah, my so average like... video was only getting one or two views. Four after like a full week of being uploaded. If only after a day of something being uploaded, I'm up to 14 views. That's cool with me. That's that awesome. That means 14 people are watching my videos. Yeah, man. I agree. I think and, that's great. And hopefully news. enjoying them. Yeah. No, for sure. The secret pass. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should start reading all the things from now on. Perhaps that would be a good idea. Uh. Although I might regret saying that because there's a lot of text coming up. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this game isn't too isn't too text heavy it's not like ocarina of time which was very compared to this one much more cinematic well i i mean i'm sure everyone's seen the meme of like you know you the uh i don't remember if it's like an owl or what it is i think it's the owl, it's that's, the owl. that's talking you like crazy it's just like a a a a a a a just to get through it and then the and then default, it's like did you understand that and the default is no and so you're just mashing so, a yeah. and so the owl is just like oh really i went okay. through that text four times the first time i played the oh game oh my god this just must be just so infuriating and by the first time i played i mean the first time i replayed because obviously the first time I actually read the text and wasn't caught by such a silly little ploy. Yeah. Is the text even worth reading? Like, uh, that's my question. Sometimes. I mean, I mean, I, I don't mean overall. I just mean with that stupid fucking owl. Most of the time he tells you where you have to go. So, if okay. you've never played the game and you don't feel like busting out a walkthrough, like, yeah, yeah, it's useful. Yeah. But, yeah. That's good. Well, one thing I do like about this game is that um, it just throws you into a dungeon like right away. Even though this is, it's technically Hyrule Castle, so this it's not really This is technically like a, the tutorial, Yeah, but... But it feels like a, it's like you're in the, it's like you feel like you're in the first dungeon like right away, like it just sort of throws you in, you know? It's like here, sink or swim, ow! Yeah, and it's, and it's also not overly hard, right? Like, the thing that I hate about all the tutorial levels in newer games and shit like that is because, is the fact that, like, it feels like a tutorial, you know? It doesn't feel like you're actually playing oh anything. Oh my god. Well, We're again, to talk about Hearthstone, since I just played it, they had a very good tutorial level, I think. Because, like, um, you get your first deck, which is a mage. Everyone starts with a mage. Mm -hmm. And you go through, like, five or six mission duels, which is basically, like, it gradually with each... Uh, duel, you get new cards, but you also are introduced to new play mechanics and taught how to use them without just it all happening at once until you get to the last the last one where it has everything and it, it actually feels like you're playing what the game will feel like when you play against a regular player. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know, I, I thought it was really clever because like, it was kind of like Mega Man X in the sense that like well, no, it was, like, an example of how you can do a good tutorial without it being, like, A Link to the Past or Mega Man X, where it kind of just tosses you in and you learn how to do it. Yeah, I uh, mean, and I, like, there's multiple ways. I, like, I usually don't like being thrown in right away if it's too hard, but, like, since this is a decent, uh, like, it's an easy dungeon, right? Like, it's yeah. not super hard. So, well, like, you never feel like you're overwhelmed, like you don't know how to do shit, and it gives you these prompts. You saying, also like, have to take into consideration that, like, every old game came with an instruction manual, and you were expected to read that. Like, I would either read the instruction manual in the car on the way home, or, you know, you get home from wherever you were, and, you know, you're a little kid, so you probably have to take a crap or something. You take the instruction manual with you to the pooper, and you read your instruction manual. Interesting. And yeah. so, like, you basically always went into one of these games at least knowing what the controls were. Yeah. But then you take, like, I'm gonna pull something out of my head that, like, I 
had experience with this with, um, Batman Arkham City. I played the game, you do the tutorial, you get taught all the combos and all that stuff, but I, sp I took like a two month break from playing that game. It doesn't come with an instruction manual, so after that two month break, I come back and it's like, fuck, I don't know how to fight these enemies <laughs> because I don't remember the specific combo that makes them vulnerable to your attacks. So yeah. I actually had to, like, Google search what I had to do yeah. and sift through, like, piles of forum posts. Yeah. Uh, we should actually end this episode. Yeah, it is, uh, is kind of running uh, late um, on time here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. See ya. On A Link to the Past.